table. So I know I already made a notebook tour pretty recently, but my little pocket notebook, which I always keep with me and which is just for jotting down initial ideas, uh, is coming to an end now. There's only one page left in this. So I thought we'd just go through it and just see what hidden gems and horrible, horrible stupid ideas um, are lost in this. So I got this from a friend for Nicolaus, so um, December 6th, um, 2016, and I'm pretty sure I started using it, I think, in March or April 2017. So it's been almost two years. And there's a lot of SMP notes in this, because that was the time I did that. There's also quite a lot of bachelor and dissertation notes. Um, so like this is the very first page on which I put down my initial bachelor thesis dissertation idea. Girlfriend in the crossfire, whatever that means. Um, yeah, I also... Ooh. Ooh, this is interesting. This is a page with just... Um, oh, how do you explain this? Sometimes I have these little snippets of conversations or like f first lines of poetry or something that I don't know what to do with. So I just put them down and try to remember that they're there in case I could need them for something else. So one of those like conversation thingies um, is one person saying, I thought you liked blah blah blah, in the sense of, I thought you were into them. And the other person responding with, why would you think that? And then person A says, because you look at them the way I look at you. Which I think is a really nice little snippet of a conversation that I might use in my next book. It would work with the characters I have in mind. So that's, that's the kind of thing I always try to remember, <laughs> but I never really do. I, I really have to start flipping through my notebooks more often. We also have a reading plan for 2018, <laughs> which I did not do. <laughs> oh, here we have a complete poem. I wrote this on the 25th of July 2017 at 12.02. No idea why I wrote that down so specifically, but I did it for the Booktubeathon. Um, and it's a poem inspired by the Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. You say I am decent, but I don't agree, because after all that I've done, how could anyone see even an ounce of decency in my breaking words, in those thoughts I voice, even though I know how it hurts? How could you possibly think I am more than a whack? When my manners are cruel and my soul is black, when all I do is selfish or mad, how can you believe my intentions are anything but bad? You say I am decent, but I don't agree, because there's no soft spot to my act. You only get what you see. And I remember I was listening to the audiobook for The Gentleman's Guide, and, oh, what's his face? The main character. Um, I think it was his best friend, who said, like, the main character was going on about how, like, stupid and bad he is, and I think his best friend was the one who said, you're decent. And he didn't fight it, but, like, you could feel in his response that he didn't agree. And I just thought that was really interesting, so what a poem about it. <laughs> oh, I still want to make that video. Oh, do I tell you? Yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna tell you everything in here, and if you're interested in any of that, let me know and I'll make those things. I mean, <laughs> I probably want to make all those things, like, at some point either way, but you know. You know how it works. So, uh, this was the video idea I had when I first saw Fight Club, which was pretty late, like most people have seen Fight Club before, um, but I've only seen it once, and I had a lot of opinions about it. And one of them was that the mental health representation in it was interesting. Like, not only like the main character, which is really obvious, but the entire 
film and concept of the film in itself to me is a mental health representation um, as in how mental health is treated in our society and I just thought that was really interesting so I wanted to make a video about that but to do that I have to watch it again um, and take notes so it might take some time <laughs> what do we have here these are the very first thoughts and the first chapter, I think, of Friday Mornings, which you can read the first draft of on Archive of My Own. Link will be in the description. And if I manage to do that, uh, there might be some version of that to buy in book format, probably, hopefully, maybe soon. <clears throat> Let's see how that works out. Ooh, I like this one. Um, so for us as SMP, I often have like very specific ideas of how to um, like work with visual and audio and how to put those two together. Um, and like in my program that I use for video editing, um, I just sort of like I copied the way the lines look in the program like the audio things <laughs> i don't know how these things are called like yeah i just kind of i drew the way the things i wanted to do with the video would look in my editing program as a way to memorize like my ideas and it looks completely stupid and no one else would know what this means and sometimes to be honest i didn't know what i meant with it um, when I looked at it like a week later, but I just think it's a really fun way of taking notes. Like it makes absolutely no sense to anyone else. Oh yeah, and then I have like lots of post-its in here as well, because I always have a stack of post-it notes um, and a pen next to my bed, um, because I have a lot of late night thoughts and like um, the sort of Oh, this is really important or this is the best idea you've ever had waking up in the middle of the night so I write it down and then in the next morning I look at it and see if it's bullshit <laughs> and if not I just put the post-it into my notebook and then make notes of what this like one word that I jotted down really unintelligible um, in the middle of the night actually means and <laughs> like what thoughts are connected to that um, this beautiful thing, <laughs> I don't know if you can actually see that, that's the way I wanted to do my poetry collection, which still is now. I've been working on like making my poetry and my photography an actual book for like two years or so. But I just, <laughs> I have this I have a very specific idea of how I want it to look and like feel and how the pages are supposed to work together, which is this jumble that I put down here. And it's just really, really difficult to do that. <laughs> um, so at one point you're gonna be able to buy my poetry collection and hopefully it'll look at least somewhere similar to the way I've imagined it for two years now. But it might take another few years. <laughs> oh, and these are the notes for my new book. Which are very all over the place because I have no idea what I'm doing with that book yet. Like, there's so much... Here's the thing. Um, I had an idea for this book that I really enjoyed. But, like, the logistics and, like, the, the world building for this story is so complicated, like so much more complicated than anything I've ever written before and that's where I'm kind of stuck. I, I know a lot of the stuff that I want to write and do with the characters once I'm over that stage and once I know how the world works but I'm stuck at that stadium and it's really frustrating but I'm, I'm starting to figure it out. So that's the next one. I'm, I'm really excited to write that. Ooh. Here's another story idea that I completely forgot. 
I got a Lumumba bird. Ooh. Sometimes past me isn't that stupid. Like sometimes past me has really nice ideas. If only present me would remember <laughs> where they are. <laughs> and that's it. Oh. <clears throat> and that was my little tag. This is just a little bookmark. Um, yeah, that I just use for this. I gotta remember that there are good ideas in here that I've forgotten about and that I really want to do at some point. <laughs> so I'll have to look through this again at some point, but for now, that's your little look into my notebook. I hope you enjoyed this in some way, maybe you found it interesting. I really think notebooks are such a cool way of like understanding a person. Not that I'd actually give this to anyone and let them look inside because it is so personal. But yeah, I think notebooks are an amazing thing. And I just think it's really cool how much of my brain is in here. So yeah, let me know how you do this um, and how you use your notebooks and what kind of... I just, I love notebooks. Let me know how you do that. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you always have a reason to smile and I shall see you soon. Bye!